Hey folks, welcome to the fifth video in getting started with MCP Toolbox for databases in Google's ADK. In this video, we're going to be building two hands-on AI agents that connect to databases with MCP Toolbox for databases built with Google's ADK. One of the demos is going to be having parameterized queries where we're going to be tweaking the final queries with input provided from the users. So we're not, we are not basically hard coding them, but we have live parameters that we are fetching from the user and sending that and fetching data based on that. So the first agent that we're going to be building is a retail operations co-pilot where uh, the actions that we want to perform are product performance and daily sales overview. And we have a regional sales data set stored in BigQuery. And our goal is to use ADK and the MCP toolbox for databases to build an agent that answers questions about the data. The agent tool set is going to be two tools, the top selling products by store and a daily sales summary provider. This is what my data set in BigQuery looks like, where I have my sales transaction ID, its timestamp, the location of the store, product name, quantity, price per item, salesperson, and a couple of more details. The tool overview is to analyze the sales by store location and product name to find the best selling items in each region. The second one is to provide total transaction and revenue for each day. The tools.yml file looks something like this, which we'll be building now from scratch very soon, but it's good to have an overview of what it could look like, where we have two main tools. One is going to be this top selling products by store, and the second one is going to be the daily sales summary. This is one example where we are asking, can you show me the total units sold for each product by store? And it gives me two units in Boston, one unit in Chicago, and two units in New York. Here I'm in my Visual Studio code and I'm going to be opening up my sales data folder instead of which I have my agent.py and my toolbox.yml file. As you remember, the data set that we have contains our sales details and we want to build a tools.yml file now. So I'm going to start off by putting in my sources that's going to be my BigQuery and my project number that I'm going to be using. After which I'm going to be declaring my first major tool. That's going to be the top selling products by store. So we start off by giving it a name. After which we give it BigQuery SQL. I give it my source. This is my SQL statement that I've generated from Gemini and BigQuery, or you can use any other place or in case you know how to write SQL queries, then that's very good. And you can add up, add it up here. After which I've generated my description for this particular tool that's going to be returning the total units sold for each product at every store location. And I'm going to be going down here. And the next tool that I'm going to be adding is my daily sales summary tool. This is going to look something like this, where I have my query, I have my description, and it's going to be the same similar structure for your tools inside of ADK. After which in the end, once all my tools are ready, I'm going to be mentioning my tool set for the final time where I'm going to be adding my top selling product by store and my daily sales summary tool. Our tools.yml file is ready and good to go. And the next step in this process would be to design the agent.py file. Inside of my agent.py file, I've started off with some imports. I have my MCP server link here and I'm going to be loading all the tools from here. After which it's going to be the same structure for an agent inside of ADK, where we'll be starting off with root agent. I give it an agent name. I give it the model number or the more I've given it the model details. I have given it a description and instruction set. And in the end, I've mentioned the tools again and our sales data agent is ready and good to go. So I'm going to go back to my uh, MCP server side of the terminal. And I'm going to just go back to my main folder after which I'm going to go to my nine sales data inside of which I'm going to start up my MCP server. And you can see in exactly a few seconds, the server is ready to serve. I'm going to go back to my main part where I'm going to be adding in or I'm going to be launching my ADK web interface. And here you can see our ADK server is on and I'm going to be opening this up. 
and here we are inside of our ADK interface and I'm going to be scrolling down to my sales data agent and I'm going to start off by saying just a hey. And here you can see it says, hi, I'm an insight bot, your sales analytic X. Here you can see it starts off with a greeting that says, hi, I'm insight bot, your sales analytics assistant. How can I help you today? And the first question that I would want to ask him is, uh, which products are most popular in different stores? You can see it calls the first tool that is the top selling products by store tool that fetches your details for each store after which I would want to test the second tool where uh, I would want to generate the daily sales summary. And I can see it gives me a daily sales summary that says on the 16th of July, we had $760 worth of sales. On the 15th of July, there was a total sales of $500. And here you can see our retail agent has successfully connected to our data set and it's giving us live responses based on data that is existing in your BigQuery data set. Now we're going to be moving on to our second hands-on AI agent that we're going to be building. That's going to be the inventory management agent where the actions that you would, we would want to perform are track stock, spot the low inventory and monitor trends. The data sets that are going to be used are, um, it is one main big data set with multiple tables stored inside of BigQuery. Once again, we're going to be using ADK and the MCP tool works for databases to build the agent out. The agent tool set consists of fetch stock for product, get the low stock items and tell me the most ordered product this week. This is our first data set. There's going to be the products data set that contains all the details about the product. After which we have our stock that contains the current stock and quantity that is available. After which we have our orders one that tracks all the sales that are currently happening. The tool overview is where we want on demand inventory check where we would want to check the current stock quantity for a specific item or a product. Reorder alert, I would want to generate a list of all items that need reordering by comparing the current quantity against the preset reorder level. A weekly bestseller would be a must where I would want to analyze my sales data from the orders table to identify the single best selling product over the week. This is what our tools.yml file looks like that contains the three main tools that we're going to be using for our use case. This is one interaction where it says which products were sold most in New York and it tells me which it gives me the exact response there. And if I ask about what products are doing best by region, once again, it gives me details like that. This is one live interaction where I'm asking my agent, how many standing desks do we have in stock where this is now going to be a parameterized query where I'm giving it an input and saying, get me low stock or tell me if you have low stock for this particular item, then I can even ask it in natural language where I can say, do we need to restock the standing desk? Not directly asking how many are there, but in the end there should be a response in case it's yes or in case it's no. So now we're going to be working on the inventory agent where I'm going to go to my toolbox.yml file. And the first thing that I'm going to be putting in is my sources after which I'm going to be putting in my first tool. that's going to be looking something like this that fetches the stock for the product. It, I give it a description and this is where it gets interesting. If you have parameters or you want to take input from user, you can mention the parameter section here, give it a name, mention the product, mention the name of the parameter, mention the type and a nice description is perfect. After which I have my SQL statement. That's going to be my query. And that's where my first tool is complete. After which I have my second tool that's going to be uh, fetching the low stock items that I have. So I'm putting in that here. And here you can see I'm putting in my second tool that's going to be looking something like this where I have its description It's going to be returning the list of all products whose current stock is below or equal to the reorder level. And in the end, my last tool is going to be the most ordered product this week. So I'm going to click on enter, I'm going to come down here. And this is my final tool. And in the end, I would like to combine all the tools into my final tool set. I'm going to put that here and click on save. And our tools.yml file for the inventory management app or inventory management agent is ready and good to go. And we're going to be following the same steps that we followed before for creating the agent.py file. We start by the imports, get the server link, 
load the tools and build your agent score structure. After which we're done creating our agent and I'm going to be uh, clearing this up. I'll clear this and uh, this is going to be launching the ADK interface. So we'll have to go to the toolbox section. I'm going to come out of this. I would like to go back to my main projects and I'd like to get into inventory. Once I'm in my inventory agent, I'm going to be running in the same toolbox command that we had. And the server is ready to serve. Let's go back to our ADK part and let's launch the ADK web user interface. And here you can see the ADK web server has successfully started and I'm going to go back and I'm going to, going to be selecting my first agent. That's going to be the inventory agent. And I'm going to start by just saying, Hey, and you can see it gives me back a response that says, I am an inventory specialist. I can help you with stock levels, generating lower reports, finding top selling products. What can I help you with? So the first question that I'm going to be asking it is going to be, what is the current stock level for wireless mouse? Here you can see it, it starts here. You can see it starts off by calling the fetch stock for product tool after which it gives me back a response that says the current stock level for wireless mouse is 15 after which I'm going to be saying, show me all the items that are currently low on stock. And here you can see it successfully fetches the items that are currently low on stock. But if I ask it in a different way that says which products need to be reordered, the following products need to be reordered. That's wireless mouse, the standing desk and the notebook. And here you can see we have built two real world use cases where we have to connect a data set to your agent and converse in natural language. I hope you've understood the entire process of connecting a database to an agent using MCP toolbox for databases and Google's ADK. I'll be leaving all the resources and information and documentations in the description. You can check that out. And this brings us to the end of the, I think the introductory series. I'm going to be uploading more tutorials around MCP and ADK. Stay tuned for that. But this covers the main introduction phase where uh, now you're equipped with the skills to basically build an AI agent that connects to your database. You have a couple of tools and you can connect that and you have launched it out here. Now the next step would be to deploy it and we'll be seeing that in the next few videos. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.